Yes, yes, ladies and gentlemen, we back. We live for another episode of Speaker Now Podcast, and I'm your host, Darius Sewer, aka Mr. GQ, back with some more exciting, important, um, deep conversations, deep topics to help you, the viewer, inspire you, and motivate you guys to speak up. Speak up now. That's what this podcast is all about the good, the bad, the ugly, the hard topics, the easy topics, everything in the above. So, I'm gonna get straight to it. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What are you doing? You forgetting to hit the subscribe button? Stop it. Stop it. What are you doing? You watching the Speak Up Now podcast and you watching your host, Darius Silver, aka Mr. GQ, give you some unbelievable content. What are you doing? I need you to subscribe right now. Check out my social media platforms and share on the screen Facebook, Instagram, and this platform, YouTube. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you continue to tune in and watch the full episode. Come on now. This is the Speak Up Now podcast where we're inspiring others to speak up and do better. Come on now. Subscribe. Come on, subscribe. All right, let's get you back to the full episode. Boom. I love you guys. All of you guys, the good, the bad, the ugly. Um, so if you're a new viewer, make sure you pay attention for this one. It's going to be a good one. And if you're a returning viewer, much love to you as always. And uh, yeah, so I'm going to get straight to it this time. Uh, let's rock. So recently, I released that episode um, about black Republicans. And... There's been some good and the bad and some bad. And I don't run for, I don't run for tough conversations. I'm gonna tell you that now. I'm gonna get that out of the way. I don't run for tough conversations. And I even obviously good backlash from it or bad backlash from it. So I'm gonna get that out of the way first. So recently I made an episode about why black Republicans are a disgrace to the black culture, culture in general. And I'm gonna first I'm gonna say this. I'm not gonna pause for what I said. I'm not gonna, I'm just not gonna pause I said, I said what I said and I meant what I meant. So I'm gonna get that out the way first. I said what I said and I meant what I meant. But I wanted to clarify what I said. I wanted to clarify. So this is the main reason why I'm making this episode to address everything about what I said, clarify some things, and pretty much just talk about how I want, how I feel about the situation. So, I will see some good, some good feedback and some bad feedback. Let me say that first. Um, but to clarify, no, no, no. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get to this first. I would see some some comments that I was wanting to reach you guys. That well, first of all, we everybody, I read all the comments that I do get. Do they phase me? No, because everybody's entitled to their opinion. So I'm gonna say that first. Everybody's entitled. Everybody's entitled to their opinion. So I'm not gonna make anybody feel back what they said or how they feel first. But I'm gonna read some of the comments that. Um, that was left under my previous episode for you guys to hear. Number one, well, there's a few of them, so pay attention. Number one, I like hearing myself speak. Number two, I need to get educated. Number three, Republicans in, in the, back in the 18, 1860s, uh, for example, Abraham Lincoln freed slaves. True. Dem- Democrats um, are going away from the Bible. Uh, Democrats own slaves. Democrats pour gasoline on fires. That's just a few of what, of what uh, that was left on my um, recently up on my previous episode about Black Republicans. So I'm gonna get. I'm gonna, I have to get that out the way first. Am I gonna address all these comments? Maybe, maybe, maybe not. Who knows if I have time or not? Um, but I'm gonna say this first. Some of those comments about even making free the slaves. That's true. Nobody's denying that. Um, but everybody's entitled to their opinion. Did I, did, I, did I know that it was on that episode was on rough for some Republicans' feathers? Yes. Did I, did I know that it's gonna, it gonna upset some black Republicans in this world? Yes. Uh, and it was am I surprised that some some Republicans on this on, on, on act how they normally act? No, it wasn't a surprise. So I'm not I wasn't I wasn't surprised of the backlash that, that I received. And I'll probably keep on I'm gonna probably gonna keep on continuing to receive more backlash. But it's not, that's not in the game. The fact that everybody's entitled to how, to, 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 how, they, how they feel. And I said what I said. So to clarify things that I said, I'm not trying to defer, I'm not trying to tell somebody or tell anyone who they should decide they should be on. But Democrat or Republican or Independent, everybody's entitled to do who they want, who they lean towards more, right? Everybody's, if, if you're a black and a black woman, you want to go towards Independent or Republican or Democrat, it's up to you. I'm not trying to tell anybody who they should vote for or who, um, what side they should be on. 
Why not? Everybody's entitled to who you want to vote for. That's what America is all about. That's what this country is all about. Everybody's entitled to their opinion. So I'm, I wanted to clar clarify that clarify that first. For all right, now, everybody's entitled to it, but I'm not apologizing for how I feel. Yes, everybody. Again, Republicans have opinions about have opinions on Democrats. Democrats have, have opinions on Republicans, and then Democrats and Republicans have opinions on independents. That's how this world is run. That's how opinions are. That's what politics are. When you get into, when you get into election season, that's how each that's how each of oh, the two or four years. That's how they are. People are um, going on um, expressing how they feel. So I'm, I'm not going to apologize for how I feel. Are they still are they disgracing my opinion? Yes. Right. I mean, people like for example, Republican uh, Abraham Lincoln freed the slaves. That's true. Nobody's denying that. And, but, but what does it have to do with what does it have to do with black Republicans? Oh, a black Republican, a black should be Republicans because um, Abraham Lincoln freed the slaves. That's nothing to do with it. I mean, yes, uh, um, our, our, our ancestors are very, very grateful. Our, our generation now and our ancestors are very, very grateful that um, back then our, our slaves were free. Yes, we are grateful, but it doesn't negate the fact how Republicans. From again the 40s, 1940s, the 1950s, and 1960s, and 1970s treated our culture. We're talking about Jim Crow laws. We're talking about um, the 60s when we couldn't vote at all. Dr. Um, Dr. Martin Luther King, Malcolm X, right? Uh, racism, discrimination as well back in the 60s. Yes, it was that there was this Democrats that was racist back then? Yes, nobody's denying that. But was there way more Republicans? More racist back back then in those times that were Republican Democrats. Yes, absolutely. Do I need to get educated more? We all need to get educated more on the, on, the, on certain, certain topics. Nobody's denying that. But I'm saying everybody's. But again, saying saying someone having someone's giving their opinion, no matter who black it is, does not make them not educated. You guys are not making the people who said those things are not making any type of sense. I'm not going to name those people who said those things, but I'm saying people say, I need to get educated, or I don't know what I'm talking about. I like hearing myself speak, or Republicans did a lot more for this country than Democrats. Well, where, where are you guys' research is? Just because that Republican president of free slaves, that changed everything about how, black, how, blacks, are, how blacks should view Republicans? No. Isn't, isn't there hmm, the, um, Republican states trying to take away black women and white women's rights? That's one thing. Or is, is there Republican states, governors, whatsoever, hmm, trying to suppress the vote? That's number two. Isn't there Republican governors, Senate, and, um, um, and Congress people are trying to hmm, limit what African Americans are on about our, about our history and culture in schools? Yes, that's happening. I could go on and on and on. I, I, I didn't get edu educated just because I express my views. I express my opinion. But I need to get educated about why I think um, but why 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 blacks are being Republicans. Everybody has to vote who to vote who want to vote for. There's some blacks that are Democrats but are more concerned with their with their money. We all like we all like our money. We all like having less taxes. But in terms of like in terms of values and social values, it's hard to see why blacks or leaning some blacks are leaning towards Republicans but based on how they treat their ancestors. Their, their, their mothers and fathers, their grandfathers and grandmothers, and their great grandfathers and their great grandmothers. Like when you think about that, but they want to lean towards the to lean towards the right just because they feel like they get they kill they can't get further in life. Like you think about Mark Robinson, Tim Scott, Brian, the guy I forgot the I forgot the name. The first name starts with the first name starts with Brian. I think I, 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 a congressman from Florida. I forgot his name. There's many black Republicans out there. That is I just, I, I, it's, a, it's a shame. But I'm not I'm not saying they are bad people. Nobody said that black Republicans are bad people individually. I'm saying that I, I feel that like they are a disgrace to the culture, how they feel like they feel like they're more accepted on that side than the other side. That's all I'm saying. But I need to get educated. Again, I, I like hearing myself speak. Um, I like giving my opinion about certain things. Isn't that what, um, that's what isn't, first of all, aren't, aren't Republicans the first, the first party that loves talking about the different things? Having like a strong opinion about certain things, but hmm, a, a black man, a black, a black man, or Democrats or other black Democrats, black women or white white women or white men or Democrats can't give their opinions, but Republicans are the only only people that give their opinions. No, but I like hearing myself speak.
And you talking about you talking about um, um Trump 2024, Trump this or Trump that, or Republicans this or Republicans that. First of all, isn't um the the present the, isn't that the person you're supporting for this year's election? Um, lies after lies after lies. Maybe it, maybe it's just because Republicans, huh, they believe they they believe that their lies are the truth. Maybe. Now that's that's up to you guys. I'm not a Republican. I'm not. So I'm not saying maybe Republicans are so bent on believing that their lies are the truth. The guy that you have your nominee as president is the king of believing his own lies and pushing their lies on other people. And so people on that particular side are, I'm not going to try and be polite here, or mm, judicious of believing it or gullible of believing it. That's all I'm saying. But I like hearing myself speak. Maybe Republicans like hearing lies and believing that it's true, right? I'm not, are Democrats perfect? No. Or, or Republican, or Republicans um, perfect? No. Or independent, or any people are, are independents, are they perfect? No. Nobody's saying that they're perfect. All I said was, in my opinion, Darren Silver's opinion, I feel like um, the black Democrats, or black, sorry, black Republicans are, are, are a disgrace. I'm a black man. I, 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 could, I could definitely speak on how I, how I feel about how other black people are, are, are being Republican. I, 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 I have the right to say that. I, I, I don't mind saying it. I, I say it again. I'm not going to apologize for what I said. The truth is the truth is the truth. I'm not going to apologize for what I said. So you think I'm going to come up here and say, oh, my God, I'm so sorry. I didn't mean what I said. No. <laughs> I said what I said, and I meant what I meant. Did I, did I, did I, did I want to clarify? Yes. Am I going to go back and forth with hey, all those comments that released on my previous episode? No. Cause they, do they phase me? Hell no. Damn, does it make me apologize? No. They, well, they, or this is, is going to be happening every day. Am I, I going to make an episode based on previous comments going forward? No. But I felt like I had to speak on this particular uh, episode because I'm not going to let um, a few people or comments... Um, I'm not gonna let a few people or a few comments make make my, make me seem like I'm just one sided. No, I'm not one sided at all. But I'm, I'm a person that likes talking about these difficult conversations. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna run from them. So I'm gonna let that. I'm not that. If you guys don't like this, um, if you guys, then the people who are opposed to what I said, I respect it. I respect you as an individual. You stand for you stand for what you stand for, and I stand for what I stand for. Is that gonna make you apologize? I doubt it. Is it gonna make me apologize? No. But I'm not gonna sit there and apologize. I'm not gonna sit there and try to make everybody happy about what I say. That's what this podcast is all about. Speak up, speaking up now about the thing that you're passionate about. All right. You see, I'm very passionate about this particular subject because I felt like people were coming at me personally. But am I gonna keep on trying to respond to every single? comment on, on, on a future episodes? No, but this one I felt like this was, it was a special occasion. A special occasion. So I, I had to get I had to get that out there. Oh, I had to speak on Democrats own slaves. Nobody's denying that either. <laughs> Nobody's denying that. That's just how things were back then. Democrats pour gasoline on fires. I know the person the person who wrote that comment cannot be, cannot believe that Democrats pour gasoline on fires when the person that hmm, started January 6th um, in 2021, if that's not if that's not pouring gasoline on fires, I don't know what is. The person I could go, I could go on and on about different things that Republicans have done about pouring gasoline on fires from from governors, from senators to a president. So, person who are a, a Democrat to pour gasoline on, on pour gasoline on fires, more 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 love to you. But if you haven't seen, if you haven't seen the previous episode that I'm talking about now, make sure you go over there and watch it. Um, you'll see why I made this episode. You'll see why I'm feeling passionate about it. And you'll see why I'm not going to apologize for it. Or if I like hearing myself speak. Um, I, I don't mind hearing myself speak, honestly. I mean, <laughs> I mean, my opinion is my opinion. I mean, I, do I expect to change everybody's opinions on how I feel? No. But I don't mind having a com difficult conversation. But no matter if I get bad backlash from it or good backlash from it. That's how life. That's how life goes, especially when it comes to politics. Especially when it comes to Republicans and Democrats going head to head about certain topics. So did I? Did I expect that it was gonna ruffle some people's feathers? Yes. You know, did I expect there to be some bad comments? Yes. Did I expect some people gonna say some ignorant or ignorant comments uh, that they that could have been worded differently or could have been said better educational, uh, 
But marks, yes. But I digress. <laughs> I simply digress. I want to come up here just to clarify some statements, get speak my piece for one last time on this particular topic. And while I have some more difficult topics about the election season and politics coming forward, yes, do I have the right to speak my opinion? Yes, you have the right to speak your opinion, leave your comment. Yes, nobody's denying that. Nobody's denying that. So people who had all those bad comments in my in my um thing, respectfully, you have the right to, you have the right to say what you say. You have the right to speak how you say, um, um, feel how you feel. I'm not, I'm not kind of against that. I respect, you know. And, uh, well, I'm again, I'm, I'm cool with a lot of Republicans in this world. I guarantee you that many of you that work, that have a job right now, work with Republicans and work with Democrats. So you can, I'm not, I'm not saying that Democrats can't be friends with Republicans or Republicans can't be friends with Democrats or the uh, white, de white Democrats can't be friends with black Republicans or black Democrats can't be friends with black Republicans. I'm not saying that. All I said was it's a damn disgrace or it's a damn shame that to see that a black culture, a black man's black culture is and, and their culture, some of the cultures move on to the other side just for them to get further and further in life just because they feel like they can support a white man or a white cause and help them. So it's, you know, I, I, I simply digress because this topic is going on for days and days and days and hours and hours and hours. And um, I have the time to do it, but I don't feel like, as I feel like, it's not going to get anywhere. I can, see, I, can, I can speak about this topic for hours and hours and hours, but it's still not going to change anybody's minds. I don't expect, I, I don't expect it to. But I just want to simply get my final rest and final opinion where I could feel at peace about it and come in to address some of you guys' opinions on it as best as I can and as, as, as respectful as I can. And um, hopefully that you guys can respect my opinion. You might, again, you might not like my opinion, but if I can give you respect about how you feel, hopefully you guys can give me respect about how I feel as a man, one, not just, not just as a black man, but as a man, as, a, as, a, as entirely. So I'm not gonna come at anyone in the comments saying, this is this, this is that. This, I'm not coming, I'm not doing that. I'm not gonna apply to every single bad comment that came, that came came my previous episode. Again, if you haven't seen it, go watch it. But I'm not gonna sit there and apply reply to every single bad comment because it's not gonna get anywhere. It's, again, it doesn't bother me, right? If you have a podcast and you get good and bad backlash from it, you have thick and strong skin. And that's one thing. I do have it. Nothing like that doesn't really bother me or phases me, really. That's how life is, especially um, in today's world, today's coming with how things are so tense right now between Republicans and Democrats or just white. Or like, it's, everything's pretty tense right now. So I said all I have to say. I simply digress. If you disagree with anything I said, um, it's okay. It's okay. Just respect it. And I will, I will respect you how you feel. Um, so, again, if you like to... Um, if you like today's episode, um, leave a like. Um, and if you're a returning viewer, much love to you. No matter if the good, the bad, the ugly, the much love to you. And if you're a new viewer, make sure, hopefully, that you enjoyed today's episode. Leave a like, leave a comment. And I'll hopefully go watch my previous episode so you can see what this episode was really, really about. Um, so let's go, on, you know, let's go on and get on out of here in a, in a, in a, in a, in a respectful, good manner. With a chance to move on to the next important topic of this podcast, on this podcast, which I think is going to be pretty, pretty good. So let's go and end this thing out the right way. Um, if you, um, let me calm myself. That may be mellow. So let's go and end this thing out the right way. Stay mellow. Keep that mellow mind. Stay focused. Uh, stay on a narrow path. Know what's important. Know your passions. Know what's important. And uh, as my man Cam Newton says, you got one finger, one pinky, one thumb, one love. Boom.